Okay, let me I think that's a little better. I wanted to make a video about money, talking about money. Does money make you happy? And I uh, just remembered earlier on the way to a job, I wiped out. I was driving through a town and Roman Shores, Ohio. That's Roman Shores, Ohio. And in Roman Shores, Ohio, it's a it's a private lake community. This is where I had a job out there and they are not allowed to put salt on the streets when it snows. I didn't know this. So, I'm driving and you know, I hit a patch of ice. And I start fishtailing and spinning and all this stuff and went off the road into a ravine. And, but it was all good because um, I was able to get out and still make it to the job. No damage to the truck, no, no harm to me. It's all good. So, um, I got about an hour drive from there. Well, I've been driving for a little while, but I got about an hour um, on the way to a, uh, try to make it to this plumbing supply house to get some parts for another job I got. But does money make you happy? I've heard a lot of conversation about this and all the people that I've heard answer this question the answer that I always hear is no. Money does not make you happy. One very interesting thing about this to me is that all the people that I've heard say no to that question got money. They have plenty of money. Now you could look at that in two ways. You know, one way you could say, well, they have money and they still um, are not happy or they have money and they you know they still you know being happy is still a challenge to them or you could look at that as um, I forgot the other way I forgot the other way you could look at that okay moving along ignore that um, I say money does make you happy and there's no doubt in my mind that money makes you happy. There's no question about it. No question about it. And people that don't really have money, you know, they res their response to that question would be, well, I'd like to find out, you know. And they really don't believe that money don't, or that money does not make you happy. Money makes you happy. Okay, so I'm going to get into this. Now, because I say money makes you happy, that does not mean that you're going to automatically be happy just because you have money. There's a balance to this. Um, and I'm going to try to explain how this balances out. Okay, how does money make you happy? Well, one, okay... What can you do without money? You can breathe. You can walk. You can talk. You can exercise. You can sleep. I mean, there are things you can do without money. What can't you do without money? You can't eat. You can't own a home or rent an apartment. You can't provide yourself a place to stay. Um, well, let's just say a home or an apartment. Without money, you can live under a bridge. 
or you can sleep on the sidewalk. Okay. So, but we're going to say a home, an apartment. Um, you can't provide for yourself without money. You can't eat without money unless you're, you want to eat out of trash cans. Um, you can't go out to eat. You can't go to your favorite restaurant to eat. You can't go to the grocery store and buy groceries and cook yourself something to eat without money. What would you wear without money? You can't buy clothes. Um, you can't buy shoes. Um, can you shower without money? Probably not. Unless you find like a shelter or something that provides showers. Um, take a bath without money? Probably not. Unless you go down to the you know, like to the lake or something like that. Um, what else? What about driving? Definitely can't drive without money. You can't even take the bus without money. So you pretty much have to walk everywhere you went unless somebody gave you a bike and then you could ride your bicycle. Or, yeah, that's it because even if somebody gave you a car, you need money to put gas in. Um, there's really not much you can do without money. And, you know, when it comes to things like having fun and entertainment, there's, there's not much you can do without money. So, moving along, you know, people that say money does not make you happy, they usually live in really nice homes. They drive really nice cars. You know, they have jewelry if they like, and you know, if they don't, then they don't. Um, they dress, they usually dress really nice, or at the least, they dress, look, it's like this. People that, that um, say money, that money don't make you happy, they, they're living exactly how they want to live. They live in, they're living where they want to live. They are dressing how they want to dress. Um, they're eating and drinking exactly what they want to eat and drink every single day. Um, and they're pretty much doing everything they want to do every single day, right? If they want to travel, they do that they want to take a cruise, they do that. If they want to get out of the country, they do that. Um, they have very comfortable lives. They have, and, and comfortable, you know, I mean, in terms of, you know, where they live and how they eat and how they dress and, you know, just in terms of providing for themselves. You know, if they want to, I don't know, if they want to, whatever they want to do, they pretty much, they at least have the finances to do it. They're pretty well off. I never heard somebody struggling that's having trouble just providing the basic necessities for themselves, say, money don't make you happy. Now... Let's go a little deeper. So, if you're hungry and you have nothing to eat and you don't have the money to buy yourself something to eat, how is that going to make you feel? Right? Now, compare that person to the person that is hungry. And knows exactly what they want to eat. They want to go out to eat. They want to go to their favorite restaurant and order their favorite meal. And they're able to do that. And they do that. And they also order their favorite thing to drink. How does that person feel? Now as I'm talking about this, I'm just realizing that like there this conversation like this could go in so many different directions like there's a lot of branches to this 
people that say that money don't make you happy are people that are taking their blessings for granted. No doubt about it. Because when you have money, you have freedom. You have options. You can do more of the things that you like to do. Right? And people that don't have money, they have very few options. They have very little freedom. They're oppressed. Right? They're in bondage. Um, because, you know, they're living this existence and they want to do so many different things and they can't because they don't have money. They may want to travel. They may want to buy a car. They may want to, you know, buy some toys. Maybe they want a motorcycle. Maybe they want a boat. You know, maybe, you know, uh, they like going out to certain restaurants and would like to be able to do that but can't. You know, maybe it's even, you know, even, it doesn't even have to be like big things. It could be, which, you know, to me, everything is a big thing. It, but it could be something like just having the freedom to go to your child's school to watch them perform in a play or, you know, something like that. You know, being able to just go, right? It could be something like just having the freedom to wake up when you want to wake up or having the freedom, you know, where, you know, there's not, you don't have a boss. You don't have people telling you what you can do and when you can do it and what you can't do, right? Like if you have a job, for example, say you got a job and you want to take off for a couple of days, you know, people that got money, it's, it's, you know, it's possible that they don't have to, I don't know, I mean, there's different levels of freedom. You know, you can have money and have a boss, you know, and have a job and you can love your job and, you know, you want to take off and you, you, you know, you have to explain to your boss why you want to take off. That's not, you know, there's a, definitely a greater level of freedom where you can just take off because you want to take off and you don't have to explain nothing to nobody, you know, but people that say money don't make you happy they're taking a lot for granted because all the things that they're able to do they're definitely using money right to live you know i hear a lot from celebrities so let's talk about them right they're using this money to live in these in, you know these really expensive neighborhoods and they're living exactly how they want to live. Money is responsible for that. Like when you when you're able to, you know, like go soak in your jacuzzi tub, right? Money's responsible for that. You know, it's disrespectful to money to say money does not make you happy. Money provides all of the things in your life that bring you happiness. You know, like, okay, me, for example, I got money, right? And with that money, I've been able, one of the things I love to do is ride four-wheelers and dirt bikes. I've been able to buy, at one point, I had four dirt bikes. I just sold one not too long ago. Um, but, yeah, and what is, today is January 9th, 2020. Yeah, I had four dirt bikes. I had options of dirt bikes. Um, I had three four-wheelers. I have options, right? Riding those dirt bikes and those four-wheelers, man, bring me a lot of happiness. It does. I have a blast going out to... Well, a couple places I like to ride, both of them are like an hour away from the house. So money provided the four-wheelers, it provided the dirt bikes, money provided the truck that I that I haul them in, it provided the trailers 
that I haul them in. Um, and it, it, it provides me money because I have to pay to ride at these places. It provides, it, it gives me access to these places. Money is responsible for all of this. You know, it, it puts gas in the tank. It changes the oil when I need maintenance done to them. It provides the maintenance. If one of them breaks down, it provides repairs. Like, all of this is is uh, money's responsible for it. so when I go to the to the you know like the MX park and I'm out there all day and I'm having a just an absolute a absolutely amazing time money's responsible for that I couldn't do that without money right I mean you think of anything that you like to do chances are you need money to do it you know like I got a boat um, and last summer I spent a lot of time taking my boat out on the water and just watching the sunset like I would have a date with the sunset and I would get out to the to the marina and get my boat out onto the lake early and just wait for the sun to start setting for the sun to start setting and just oh my goodness I see some beautiful amazing sunsets on the water it's it's mind blowing it's incredible to see couldn't do that without money not on the water now I could go down to the lake which I've done before and I've been down to the beach before and watch the sunset from the shore. And that's awesome. That's amazing also. You get an amazing view. But it's not being out on the water. It's different when you're out on the water and you just away from everybody and you're in the middle of the lake all by yourself. There's nothing like it. Or even just, you know, last year was my first year. Um, I bought the boat last year, so it was a brand new experience for me. To just to just to be able to hit the water is amazing it's an amazing experience money's responsible for that um taking my kids wait well, just being able to provide for my kids it uh it gives you an amazing feeling you know you Look, versus not being able to... Look, I've been on both sides of the fence. When you cannot provide for your kids, that is a dope Jeep right there. Oh, my goodness. Let me see. No, can't even get it. There you go, a little bit. There you go. That boy, nice. Look at that. Yeah, that boy, rough. But when you cannot provide for your kids, it's a terrible feeling. It's not that bad when they're young, like infants and, you know, like toddlers and infants. But when they get older and you can't provide for them and they understand more about material things and then they care more about how they look and, you know, and then they're going to school and, you know, in school, unless your kids are wearing uniforms, like you can't get away from kids comparing themselves to each other and, you know who looked better who got on the better shoes the fresher fit and all that stuff it's peer pressure so if you're not able to provide for them you know now they have to deal with that um, and you just as a parent you feel terrible because you want to be even if you don't provide for them even if you don't buy them like the most expensive shoes or pants and shirts and they not you not keeping them fresh every day you don't want it to be because you can't you want it to be because you choose not to man i'm close to home you want it to be because you choose not to not because you can't right it's a terrible feeling when it's because you can't now if you choose to eat like i haven't eaten yet today 
I, all I had today was apple cider vinegar and lemon water. I haven't eaten, but it's because I choose not to. It's not because I want to eat and I can't provide myself something to eat. Money allows you to provide for yourself and to provide for the ones you love if that applies, right? Like, come on, man. I think it's the it's, it's just stupid to say money don't make you happy. Money definitely makes you happy. Now, that don't mean that if you got money, you're not going to have, you know, like other things. Other things will come in. You're always going to have challenges in life that you have to face. And if you're not equipped with the right mindset and the right perspective on things, then, you know, you're, you're going to experience some sadness, some stress, some frustration. Some, you know, I'm not saying that money is going to... Uh, eliminate challenges and stress and pressure right I'm not saying that money is going to eliminate sadness and depression and grief because money does not eliminate you know if you want to call I, I like to call them challenges money don't eliminate challenges you know you may call them problems Let's call them problems just for the sake of a better understanding of, and you know, um, money doesn't eliminate that. And if you don't know how to deal with those things, then you're still going to have, you know, I mean, you're still going to feel sadness and grief and, you know, these different emotions. But let's be clear, money definitely makes you happy, right? It definitely makes you happy. Just the things that you're able to do with money you know um in fact there's been times where you know i've been feeling some kind of way and i've taken myself out to eat and i enjoyed a comfort food meal you know money allowed that money made that possible and at that moment while i'm eating my comfort food i am feeling much better Right? It's stupid to say that money does not make you happy. Like money, all these blessings that you're, you know, when you have money, all the blessings you're thankful for, money did that. Money provided that. Right? Like, come on now. Money definitely makes you happy. It provides things. It provides things like freedom for you to do whatever you want to do when you want to do it, how you want to do it, right? To some degree, you know, people with money may experience different levels of that. You know, like me, being my own boss, I don't have to work if I want to. I get up when I want. There's nobody telling me what to do or when to do or how to do. If I choose, I can, I'm on the, like I said, I'm on the way to Plumbing Supply House I don't have to go there if I don't want to. If I choose, I could go park this truck, or better yet, not park it. I could just, I got ramps in the back, I got a ramp in the back, I can load a dirt bike up, I could load a four-wheeler up, and I could, I could, there's a place I could ride right around the corner from me. I could do that if I want to. If I choose, I could go buy an airplane ticket and just get out of Ohio. I could go somewhere else. I could go to Florida right now. If I choose, I could do that. There's nobody that's going to tell me that I can't. I don't have to give an explanation to nobody. I don't have to lie to anybody. You know, like say like if I had a job or something like that. You know, I don't have to give an explanation as to why I want to go to Florida and, you know, possibly lie if I feel like, you know, they're, they're going to tell me I can't go. You know, yeah, I got a relative out there, a sick relative, and they're dying. I need to, like, I don't have to go through any of that. I can just go. You know how amazing that is? I've had jobs, I've had tons of jobs before, right? I had tons of jobs. You can't do that in no job. 
Like, that, that don't even, like, for me, I'm talking about me. I'm not, I don't even feel like, like a grown man. For real, if I got to explain to somebody, I have to go to somebody and get permission to go somewhere or to do something or to take the day off or to take time off to come in late, whatever, or leave early. I have to get permission. You know, like many, many years, many years ago, my house was broken into, right? And I found out about this while I was at work. I'm leaving, but I had to go and get permission to leave, right? Like, not technically, not, not, you know, I was leaving either way it went. And, um, you know, if they, you know, let's just say they weren't okay with it. I could have got fired. Or written up. I could have got written up because my last job I was at was a union job. So they couldn't have just fire me, but I could have got in trouble. Right? Like, what is How am I? I'm grown. I'm getting in trouble by another adult. Like, you're not paying any of my bills. Right? You're not feeding me. How am I getting in trouble? But that's the reality. That's the reality. So I'm just saying, like, having money and um, the more money you have, you know, I feel like the more freedom you have, you know, Um, and the more you're able to live the life that you want to live, you're able to live exactly how you want to live. You know how happy that makes you? I imagine just Monday morning. You wake up Monday morning and you like, you know what? I want to get out of here. You pick up the phone, you call somebody else that got money or they don't even, and the sweet thing is they don't even have to have money. Maybe you call somebody that don't have money, but you got money so you can pay for them too. It don't even matter. You say so you call up a friend like, yo, let's, uh, let's go to Florida. Let's go hang out in Florida for a few days, maybe like a week or so. And your friend like, okay, bet. Right? And y'all up and go. You put in that call to the airlines or you go online. Uh, man, I, this is... Can I fix this? I done got in the wrong lane. I'm not going that way. I'm just going. Somebody going to have to let me over. I'm going to have to bogart my way through or something. And that's just what I did. I think somebody was nice to me, though. Whether they let me go or not, I'm going to tell them thank you. But, yeah, I mean, imagine that. Monday morning. Imagine not, not, look, look, that person that wakes up Monday morning and, like, you know what? I, I don't even. I want to go to Florida. Picks up the phone, call a friend. Hey, you want to go to Florida for a few days? And they like, yeah, bet. And boom. You put in a call, you go online, whatever. You get the tickets and you out. Right? Now, compare that person to the person that wakes up Monday morning and is going to a job that they hate, but they have to go. But they feel like they have to go. Right? Because they got bills they got to be paid and they don't have the freedom to they don't have freedom they don't have the option to not go they can't choose their choice has been taken away by the lack of money right not having money takes away your choice in a lot of ways and having money gives you your choice it gives you options there's no like come on man this ain't even a this 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 should be like a no-brainer like really and that's i mean that's there's so much more i can say but you know that's why i say that people that say that money don't make you happy they're really taking their 
blessings for granted and they're disrespecting money and they don't really understand like they're really lacking understanding because yeah money definitely makes you happy and again the balance is you're still going to have challenges and all these other things it doesn't mean that you because you got money you'll never experience sadness or grief or depression or anything like that or misery like you can still experience those things but that's almost like a separate thing money still makes you happy right say you hit a problem a challenge whatever you stress out over it and eventually you figure out how to resolve it right boom you get over that hurdle whatever and then once you get that taken care of you use your money and you take a two-week vacation to cancun or something like that you telling me that don't make you happy going to cancun that don't make you happy for two weeks because you just just because you can and you want to and you want to get it that don't make like come on man get out of here i'm out